Hey guys, I wanted to do this video real quick on pop sockets. Um, if anyone knows me, I have been a huge fan of pop sockets. I even have a car mount video that I did a little over a year ago on pop sockets that I'll link um, here on the screen somewhere. Um, but this video is just specifically on kind of identifying a fake and um, I'll let you know just exactly my feelings on some of the fake ones that are out on the market since pop sockets have become extremely popular. So this is a real pop socket and the reason why mine looks a little kind of rough around the edges is I just took it off my iPhone and wanted to clean the backing a little bit. Um, the reason for that is I had purchased and got a dupe and thought I was actually buying a pop socket. Didn't really pay too much attention. I just thought it was a pop socket kiosk stand that I saw um, at the mall. And so the reason why I wanted to replace my pop socket is mine had originally split. So this is an original pop socket facing. Um, so that obviously warranted me to want to go buy another one. So I was actually at the mall. Um, I'm trying to get this focus here at the mall and got this thing called pop grip again not really paying attention I think I was just so drawn um, to the options and the number of different plates they had so in this one here I had bought this one for my daughter it was a cat anyways um, so I had bought a handful of those they were retail I think the gentleman sold it to me I bought like four of them for six dollars a piece so I was like oh great that's a great deal the difference as I started looking at things closely is the backing and this here and I tested it on one of the phone cases my daughter had it it's just a piece of crap honestly like don't even waste your money if you need to install a pop socket go for the real deal this here it took me a little bit just to pull this off my phone um, it's definitely sturdy it has been through a lot all I did was clean the the edging I'm just letting it sit and dry and so I, what I end up doing because I was like you know what? I don't want to keep buying pop sockets or going back and like you know questioning what I was purchasing so what I ended up doing which seems to have worked is again because I wanted to replace the plate the bottom piece here that he, you know, that adheres to your phone, this was already intact. It was good. You can actually take off the 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 back or the plates from the the base of the pop socket. And so this is actually one of the the fake plates that I end up, you know, getting drawn to. And what I end up doing is taking it from the pop grip packaging just taking the plate only and then popping it back on to the actual pop socket base. Um, so that works for me. I haven't had any issues, but I did want to share, you know, spotting a fake. And I think with these pop sockets, it's important to have a sturdy um, adhesive. Again, this is really, really cheap. It's not, it doesn't, I mean, it was so easy and I'll actually just kind of demo here. So imagine this is a foam base. It's so easy just to pull off like there's no there's no sturdiness and if anyone uses a pop socket today you know that the adhesive is pretty intense and strong so um, again just wanted to hop on here and kind of share how to spot kind of a dupe and um, also show you what I end up doing just to you know again just re reuse and recycle at least the plate from um you know one of the fake brands which is called pop grip anywho uh, hope you guys like this video if you want me to do a video on how i removed my pop socket from my phone um leave that in the comments below otherwise hope you guys are having a fantastic day and we'll talk to you guys soon bye